morning. Okay, let's see. 5th of March. Mars sextiles the moon's north node. A good time for get-togethers and making changes in your health routine. The moon is in Capricorn. So, the song is um, when I'm 64. I don't know who it was that sung it. Oh, oh, we've got a gift. Wow, Gibbo. The gift that keeps giving. Wow. That for a while. Leo, 11th house of Aquarius, wishes and dreams and karma. So pride, uh, karmic situations because Leo rules karma as well. Um, today's card is the High Priest. It's about institutions, upbringing, um, religion. <clears throat> The neck, the throat, the truth, belief, keys, Simon, Peter. And hopefully, if it's upright, we'll be blessed three times. And with the gift, that will be another gift that keeps giving. So, here we go. Last card. Wow. So, it may take a while because it's Taurus energy. It's slow and steady, which is what they told us. But we are blessed. So the gift and the blessing and the wishes and dreams come true. 5 and 23. We are on the home stretch, almost there. Can you see the house in the background? We're almost ready to wrap down that burden. But we're trapped in a mindset and we've got to forget about that. There's no knots in that rope or in the blindfold. It's fear that's holding her back. We had that yesterday, didn't we? But we, we was getting out of it. Now we've gone backwards. Love has left the building, but there is the Aquarius energy, 11th house, following your north nerd, your north star, um, miracle calls happening when you face the chaos head on um, and move on not taking the baggage of the past with you but it'd be triggered I think by something out of the blue that you didn't expect that's not very pleasant in the next eight days there is an ending a betrayal a passing a death um, I don't like ending on the death card you know that so we're going to pull another card just one And there's the gift. So, there we go. This ending is a gift, a blessing, um, whatever it is. It's getting out there. It's not dimming your light for anyone. It's fame for some. It's socialising. It's networking. It's healing with ankles and legs. When you're 64, I think your ankles and legs do uh, get a bit um, swollen sometimes, stuff like that. So, oh, there's a bond, a marriage, a friendship maybe, <clears throat> because that's what today's card is about. Um, fairy Godmother's coming, Cinderella will go to the ball. Um, you're going to be chucked off that cliff and you're going to have to make your wings on the way down. Um it is about no, not comparing yourself to others. This is not a race. 
um, and pruning back the apple tree for a better crop this year. You, there's been a rejection, a betrayal. Of, so this gift possibly has been offered before and it was rejected. So again, gifts come in. Um, a tall, handsome stranger coming into your life and they're welcome because that door's wide open. Um, so it's a gift. And an end to a chapter. Travel to the object of your desire, be there persons, things or events. You are creating a new reality. Um, begin in a new chapter. You may feel abandoned. We've got Mercury Retrograde again mentioned. Elaine said in the comments yesterday, I think it was on the 18th or 19th, which fits with the previous reads, um, you have a decision to make. There's the Leo energy. So power struggles. Um, internal and external power struggles, so uh, struggling with inner demons and outer demons, the heart, the back, healing, and the number 11, which is the 11th house, Aquarius. Well done, spirit. Um, patience is needed. And there's the 18, so it fits with the Mercury retrograde that Elaine said, mentioned about 18th, 19th. Um, this cannot be created until you end this chapter. So the gift will be rejected if you don't end this chapter. So there's some um, something to be brought to a conclusion first. So you can't have what you, you can't have a cake and eat it. Is what it's saying. Um, your your proposal, your gift will be rejected if you haven't um, finished this business. So. In Korea, it would be similar to um, being unable to go on holiday until you've finished a task that's been given to you. So there's a gift of, a promise of something, um, a change, a new chapter, but you have to uh, complete something first. Again, torn internally. Trying to spread yourself too thin. 18 negative. Yeah, you've got to release yourself from this toxic situation or energy, um, toxic properties in your body, contracts, vows or promises made under duress. The T was what we had yesterday. Um, we, you have to stop competing with others. Stop keep trying to keep up with the journeys. Stop being manipulated and stop selling your soul to the devil for shiny baubles. There'll be no success until you do. Um, the yes, there's been disappointment in the past, but you've got to leave that baggage of the past behind, remember? So build a bridge, get over it, stop crying over spilt milk. You played your part in it, but no, you're not to blame. And there's the tower. So the 16, um, something has to be destroyed. This is, you're very passionate about what this is. So 15, 16, it's very important. 17th is very important because we've got the Aquarius energy. Then we've got the 18th. So around that period, or if you know anybody born on those dates, living at those numbers, wherever you see those numbers, massively important. No more people pleasing. No more walking around on eggshells. Massive arguments, accidents, losses within the home. Um, actual losses of home. Fire and flood. Um, avoid any electrical or fire things. There's the gift again. So we've got two children now, fire signs, air sign energy, but there doesn't have to be the sun sign. Um, someone in uniform of a younger energy, um, somebody of a darker complexion perhaps, but the checks in the mail, um, money's improving, um, child maintenance being paid, whatever it is, um, it's a small improvement. But there'll be no apologies, hell will freeze over first, or you shouldn't apologise if you're in the right. No people please. Chiron, the wounded healer. You cannot heal others until you heal yourself. Oh, too many, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, don't hold on to things past the sell by date. Don't try and control others. Um, don't um, hold on to the old way of doing things, the outcome of a situation, um, because people won't appreciate it. Yeah, there is possibly a separation um, to do with children, um, schools, childhood, um, or someone made the wrong decision in the past. 
um, Adam, Eve, Lily. So we've got Adam, Eve, Lily, Sam and Peter. Um, Taurus, all over this. Gemini, Cancer, Cuspers, uh, 6 and 24, negative energy. And the truth must come out before you can receive this gift, I believe. Success will be yours within a week when you do. Um, use that sword to sever ties, pair away what no longer serves you. And uh, it, everything should be fine. Giba is a brilliant energy. We know it is. It's the gift. The gift that keeps giving. However, it's got to be appreciated. If it's not, then that's when the trouble starts. But you don't give to manipulate others into being grateful to you. Because that is also a no-no. So Odin and Thor, Wednesday and Thursday, so tomorrow and the next day could be important. Depending on whether the 15th, 16th or 18th lands on those days. So. There it is, the letter G. So gifts which we've got all over this. We keep getting the gift, don't we? The gift that keeps giving. Um, generosity, help from those who, who are in need as for those who are in need, signified by Giba. Giba is also to indicate love, perhaps in more general sense, charity rather than purely personal. Oxen make an appearance in Giba, so Taurus and the year of the ox. Um, as a measure of wealth. Um, generosity, but boundary markers. In other words, being overly generous can also be a bad thing. In addition, recognising your own boundaries is important, as knowing how much to give. In another sense, the rune is connected to innate talents or abilities that can be taken as gifts from the gods. This is the first rune of the series and not to have an inverted meaning. So it's never negative. Both Odin and Thor, Wednesday and Thursday, are symbolic associated with Giba. It's significance of knowing one's boundaries and swearing to abide by contracts, which we are not going to do. Don't sign any contracts. Um, the Thunder God, those whose job it is to preserve order in the universe. Odin being the archetypal king was expected to give generous gifts to his followers in order to be reward them for their loyalty. He possessed a marvellous arm ring called Draubnir, which replicated itself into eight other identical rings. So nine nights. Um, so nine, nine days, nine nights, These, which would take us to what? Um, the 14th. Um, valuable ornaments. So... In this song, Odin warns that it is better not to ask than to overpledge, as a gift demands a gift. This verse speaks both of making hasty promises and of casting enchantments. In both cases, a price must be paid, so caution must be your watchword. The giving and receiving of gifts has been important to every society as gestures of mutual respect and a symbol of fondness. The custom is meant to bind people together, as in engagements, etc., this may be why we still mark affectionate letters with an X to denote a kiss. While in previous ages, when most people were illiterate, documents were signed by an X. So if you don't understand what's written, please don't sign it. To signify an acceptance of a contract or agreement. Bringing the aspect of relationship to the fore, Gibo signifies both the donor and the recipient of the gift. All should be well as long as there are conditions on both sides and they know their limits. Even if nothing material is actually being given, the payment for the gift may come in the form of simple gratitude. But if that gratitude is withheld, then resentment and quarrels will be the result. The same applies to the giver. A present should be given with an open heart, otherwise the giver will feel forced into an obligation and the recipient will feel worthless. The gib when Gibo appears, it is certain that you will feel honour bound to help someone out very soon. However, it is important to judge exactly how much help you should give. After all, if you are too generous, then this needy person will become over-reliant upon you. And if you're not generous enough, you could be considered a skin flint and your reputation would suffer. Well, I don't think you should worry about that bit. <clears throat> so, 11th house 
it is about um, legs, ankles, social and tribal gatherings, the workplace, the deep yellow, which is also with that card, um, group activities, society, friends, hopes, wishes, aspirations, and your social consciousness. So worry, not just worrying about yourself. So it is, I believe, the self nerd, but I'm not sure. No, well, well, we're all right. It's the dragon's head. It's the north node. So the path of your evolution, your life purpose, your destiny, what you are striving towards, latent potential, your choices and your growth. So don't make the wrong choice. You are growing. You have to follow your north node, your north star. Um, so this is the path of the heart. The soul is learning to keep an open heart no matter how many times it's been damaged. To be heart-centred in all that it does. To be empowered from the heart. And in the 11th house, um, the urge is to change things, to make it fairer and more equal in the community and to work through interactions with others. So fairness and justice. And there's the home and family life again the 16 massively important cancer energy 21st of june to the 21st of july um the mother the home your feelings should be your god the soul is your temple rely on the wisdom of what you feel right now um there will be mysteries you may feel like a solitary orb that floats alone in the night sky, or it may be your moon sign, yet it's still very much in sight. There is a depth of feeling not easily seen. Um, someone may be reclusive and hiding their feelings or having alternating moods. Emotionally vulnerable and easily wounded and exhausted. And others, because if you're empathic, Others' energy may be exhausting you. It's toxic. Cancers are resilient and endure much and can overcome just about anything which seems peculiar because they are so sensitive. Cancer is a sign of imagination, a rich fantasy. So creative writing, art and music and with their gut reactions, cancers can also be very accurate psychics. You can be assured emotions will be high and you may want to withdraw or you may be dealing with someone who is withdrawn or depressed at this time. There is a feeling of being connected to the unseen world and that includes the worlds of ghosts and spirits. This card can indicate inherited psychic ability, even witch blood. There is a typhoon of power behind conscious strong feeling. But it can also mean that you are in sync with other people's emotions. You will instinctively know what to do at the right time. There is a sensitivity and emotional closeness indicated. If your question is about love, it may be in secret to a third party, and that's our separation from the one you love. Um, or involve bonded souls, as with mother and child. This card can also mean that family or domestic issues must be addressed. A mother or maternal figure is also indicated by this card. Women will figure in prominently. Women's issues and how women get along. The sign of cancer is known for good memory and the ability to hold on far too long sometimes, either positively or negatively. So although it will be hard to overlook any slights at this time, forgiveness is the best response. Right now, your moods will be changeable every two and a half days, just like the moon's phases throughout the month. And you may want to hide or withdraw from the hurt and pain. Perhaps that pain is real or imagined. But in the solitude, you will build a greater strength to face whatever it is that's holding you back. And it is the moon card, the 18. Well done, spirit.
and we have surrender surrender to what is or you've just got to let go move on number 12 don't be somebody's victim or don't play the matter to get what you want let go freedom and flow so surrender is the fairy of freedom and flow break the shackles and free yourself from that toxic energy she has let go of everything that's holding her back and is ready to fly and be free. You can feel a sense of peace that comes over her and she is open to whatever comes her way. Eyes closed and trusting that what lies ahead is exactly what she needs and has asked for. Surrender is here to teach you whatever you are holding on to. Maybe it's time to let go and let yourself be free. Sometimes we hold on to behaviours or beliefs that may have served us in the past but do so no longer. By drawing this card, it is time to take a look at the patterns and situations that are holding you back and ask yourself, is this really in my best interest? If not, it's time to take the steps to change. Let go and move ahead. So moving on. Um, start following the path that gives you joy. As long as it is in your best interest, it will be the best for all. Surrender may also be trying to tell you to be yourself. Don't follow the crowd if that isn't you. Create your own path and be true to yourself. Follow your North Star. Follow your intuition, that gut feeling that never lets you down. That is your true self and your spirit guide. The more you listen to your intuition, the more in touch with yourself you will become. What a wonderful feeling freedom is when you no longer worry what is ahead. Take your hands off the steering wheel and step into the flow. So don't drive things too hard, at, but don't be taking you, uh, literally take your hands off the steering wheel because that could be a problem. Um, it'd be a wrong choice. Um, Oh, the high, we've got the number two yesterday, didn't we? The High Lord, um, you are the lotus flower rising from the muck of the swamp. So it's all about gratitude again. Don't be ungrateful. Be grateful for the good and the bad of all our blessings or lessons. Um, the High Lord of gratitude and service has arrived to help you find your true purpose today, your, tr your north node, your true path. But well done, Spirit. Feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been will remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness. Through small actions and selfless service to others, you're automatically placed on a higher path, whether you're immediately aware of it or not. The presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires. You're also notified that your actions of service and attitude of gratitude will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams, as long as they are not your main aim. Um, giving service with no thought of return is what was required in, of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and in the world around you that you have to be grateful for. If your question refers to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly there are no friends and no enemies, just teachers along life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even the tears. The attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love in all its forms. Beautiful. So don't be ungrateful, stop moaning. Um, stop having a pity party, pull your socks up and stop crying over spilt milk. Yeah, discipline yourself. It's not for others to discipline you, it's for you to discipline yourself. An unruly dog, so there's born in the ear of the dog, is a hazard to itself and others. The animal which has learned discipline and obedience can be trusted and will loyally and lovingly serve its master. It is then allowed off its lead. Through discipline comes freedom. There's your freedom. The master you are called to obey is your higher self. You came to this earth on a mission and only self-discipline will enable you to fulfil it. Tune in and ask your angels for their help and support so that your life becomes happy and rewarding and divinely directed. Discipline is a key to fulfilling your destiny. So 
Are you still in love at 64? Are you still making the right choices at 50, 64? Um, or will you be? It's up to you. Thanks for listening. Speak soon. Bye.